All right, what's good, everybody? Right on time. We're checking a look at Jamie Foxx dealing with his daughter. Now, there's a constituent that is within the publicity that is saying that it was false. But if you remember, Jamie Foxx was declared that they knew not his status. But she's mad at everyone because his status was given out. And she says everything's a lie. Which part? You get what I'm saying? They're saying it vainly or just openly. What part is a lie? And they don't want to do that. First Corinthians chapter 3, starting at the 14th. If any man's work abide which he hath built thereupon, he shall receive a reward. For if any man's work shall be burnt, he shall suffer loss. But he himself shall be saved, yet so as by our fire. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. Let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seemeth to be wise in his words, let him become a fool, that he may be wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. For it is written, He taketh the wise in their own craftiness. And again, the Lord knoweth the thoughts of the wise, that they are vain. So when people think that they're grandiose with knowledge, experience builds knowledge. But and wise men like to gain knowledge. So they'll hear other knowledge. But if they have an answer, they'll give the answer. But if you don't have Christ, there is no way. Your, your knowledge is vain. Like even the wisdom you've attained, what is it worth? Because you don't have Christ right there in scripture. So if Jamie Foxx don't have God, he needs to focus on that first. Other than a movie, First Peter chapter 2, verse 24, starting at the 21st. For even hereunto were ye called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that ye should follow his steps. Who did no sin, neither was guile found in his mouth. Who, when he was reviled, reviled not again. When he suffered, he threatened not, but committed himself to him that judgeth righteously, who is his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree, that we being dead to sins should give unto righteousness, by whose stripes ye were healed. For ye were as sheep going astray, but are now returned unto the shepherd and bishop of your souls. Right there, we do not own our soul. It is Jesus Christ only. He's the one in charge of everything. He's the one we have to go to. He's the one we got to magnify. He's the one we got to do everything to show ourselves approved in order to get into the gates of heaven. Other than that, he does not know you. Okay. Proverbs chapter 17, 22nd verse. He loveth transgression that loveth strife. And he that exalteth his gate seeketh destruction. He that hath a froward heart findeth no good. And he that hath a perverse tongue falleth into mischief. He that begetteth a fool doeth it to sorrow, and the father of a fool hath no joy. A merry heart doeth good like a medicine, but a broken spirit drieth the bones. A wicked man taketh a gift out of the bosom to pervert the ways of judgment. Wisdom is before him that hath understanding, but the eyes of a fool are in the ends of the earth. A foolish son is a grief to his father, and bitterness to her that bear him. Real quick guys, subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Stay in tune. We're reading very serious things. Get this. Just in this one part I read. When we look at Jamie Foxx, we don't see many family members around him. We don't see him interacting with them. Not saying he does not. But he carries himself a certain way. But he'll talk to a celebrity. He'll hang out with a celebrity. He'll kick it with a show with a celebrity. He oh, His come up. He was around celebrities. On the come up. So my thing is, you're comfortable around the wrong people. You have so many different spirits around you. Are you in tune with who you are? With family values? Okay, I'm saying that for a reason here. All right, get this. Hebrews chapter 11, starting at the first. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, for by it the elders obtained the good report. Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. By faith Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous, God testifying of his gifts, and by it being he being dead yet speaketh. By faith Enoch was translated that he should not see death. 
and was not found because God has translated him. For before his translation, he had his testimony that he pleased God. Right there, guys. Sade and yo, I don't know if y'all watch whatever. Right there. Yes, Enoch is referenced in this Bible. But the book of Enoch is not important. Right here in scripture. That's why I asked y'all, did y'all read? Right here. That doesn't matter because it's talking about things. Our focus is who? Jesus Christ. That's all. That's all you're to focus on. That is your duty. That is your duty. I read that yesterday. 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 24, starting at the 21st. And the Lord visited Hannah so that she conceived and bare three sons and two daughters. And the child of Samuel grew before the Lord. Now Eli was very old and heard all that his sons did unto all Israel and how they lay with the women that assembled at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. They took the prostitutes and he said unto them, why do ye such things? For I hear of your evil dealings by all this people. Nay, my sons, for it is no good report that I hear ye make the Lord's people to transgress. If one man sin against another, the judge shall judge him. But if a man sin against the Lord, who shall entreat for him? Notwithstanding, they hearken not unto the voice of their fathers, because the Lord would slay them. And the child Samuel grew on and was in favor both with the Lord and also with men. And there came a man of God unto Eli and said unto him, Thus saith the Lord, Did I plainly appear unto the house of thy father? Then they were in Egypt and Pharaoh's house. Right there. Even Denzel Washington in a movie called Eli was blasphemy. Right there. They do it willingly. That proves it. No, even deeper. Even deeper. Work your way up here. When it's talking about the Lord people to transgress, nay, my sons, and it's directing them to another level of their evil dealings. There's evil dealings all around us. We have to resist it. That's resisting the devil and he shall flee right there. Literally, it's showing you what you got to do. You got to read for understanding. It tells you everything you got to do. You must do. Because it, you're in service. I told you, we're in the army of the Lord. I told you guys.